the gorgeous man who made love to me all night. Or my soon-to-be ex-husband that wants to divorce me. I don't want a divorce, David. I love you. And I love you. You used to love me so much that you wanted a baby and a porch swing and God help us a willow tree. And now you love me so much that you want to divorce me? Yes, that's right. Oh, you're making my head hurt. Here. Thank you. Anna, you're dodging Jackson's political bullets and a possible prison term. Mm -hmm. You've lost the trust of your department, and all of that is because you married me. A divorce will give you the freedom to be the woman that I fell in love with. Do you remember when you thought that I was Proteus? Yeah. It made for a hell of a dating experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. I mean, you were incredible. All full of fury and passion. Yeah, you were a bit of a challenge yourself. Yeah, now what you're doing is wasting all your energy protecting me. No, I still have some love. <sighs> Anna, marriage has changed us. And I'm not sure it's for the better. Oh. So, you want a divorce to save me and to put our romance back in gear. Is that it? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Oh, your altruism is very remarkable, but it's, I think it's a little bit twisted. Will you at least consider it? No. No, I won't. I'm not going to live a charade just because Jackson doesn't like who I'm married to. A document is not going to change our feelings for one another. This is the perfect solution. No, it's not. It will be the end of our relationship. I'm not going to give up on us. I'm not giving up. I'm just shifting the playing field. No, well, you call it whatever you like, but if we divorce, then that means that Jackson wins, and I'm not going to have him bully me out of my marriage. Married or divorced, who cares? Anna, we make our own rules, don't we? So we can make this work. Okay, rule one, no divorce. Rule two, you keep making love to me the way you did last night. <laughs> Anything else? I'm just getting started. Uh, are you ringing? Mm -mm. Mm, that's not me. Mm. Wait, maybe mm. you should answer that. Answer you, what? You're on surgical rotation, aren't you? Well, that's not exactly how I would define <laughs> it, but... Uh... I'm gonna go get a shower. Okay. Uh, <sighs> go. I hate these phones. <sighs> yes, David Hayward. Finally. You ever check your messages? I've been, I've been looking for you all day. Why? What's going on? Roger's funeral's today. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, they're, they're having a quickie over at the hospital chapel. Greenlee and her mother just went over. Then how's Greenlee doing? Well, uh, besides being a complete wreck, I think she's in for another downer, man. Why? We could have his funeral in a phone booth and there'd still be room for walk-ins. How dismal is that? So would you like us there? Well, yeah, you and, you and Anna aren't naked or anything, are you? None of your business. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I owe you, man. No, you don't owe us anything, Leo. We're family, remember? The four of us. The families have to stick together. That's right. Thank you. For Greeny's sake, at least. Oh, oh, oh hey. thank Hi. God. The home team almost sent up flares. Oh, my, that bad, huh? Yeah, Woody and Mary are, are throwing punches, and Greeny's AWOL. I don't know where she's at. I didn't expect Jackson to be here. Yeah, well, he's Mary's date. Oh, that's nice. To a funeral. Yeah. Mrs. Dupre is inside. You know, oh. I should have known. That's what I... She's in here. Should we go in? Yeah, yeah. shall we? Yeah, okay. Hey, 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 If you can't keep it down, take it out to the parking lot and beat some sense into each other. Greenly, I'm sorry. Is there anything we can do? <laughs> You're here. I couldn't ask for more. I'd like to make the service as personal as I can. Why don't you tell me something about your father? Uh, he was a good... Dancer. He tried to be. Uh, uh, 
He liked flowers. Birds the relationship paradise. between a father and daughter is very special. Uh, do you have a cherished memory, a birthday, a special moment? I cannot listen to any more insults, Daddy. Um, would you excuse me for a minute? Who's Molly knowing yet? Uh, why don't you finish up with the Reverend? I'll, I'll check this out. Nothing matters to you more than Molly. Not even your own daughter. Is that Grandfather? No, it's all been a ruse. You pretended to love your daughter for one reason, to keep your inheritance. 